the Great Santa Stakeout. Buddy Melcher was Santa's number one fan. He was the kind of kid who'd dress up as Santa for birthday parties. Oh my goodness, and Valentine's Day. And even Talk Like a Pirate Day. Oh, he's crazy for Santa Claus. Freddy had Santa posters, Santa action figures, and Santa underwear. He was even saving up to buy his own pet reindeer. But there was one prize that Freddy desperately wanted, a photograph taken with Santa fresh out of the chimney. Oh, it was risky. As every good kid knows, Santa only visits when everyone's in bed. It's awfully hard to sneak anything by someone who can see you when you're sleeping and knows when you're awake. That's why Freddy had to be extra good this year at hiding his plans. Step one in Freddy's plan, string the roof with cans so the sleigh can't land undetected. Step two, rig the whole living room with micro-sensitive cameras. Number three, put milk and cookies on a pressure-sensitive plate. Step four, practice staying up late. Finally, it was Christmas Eve. No one suspected a thing. Freddy was vigilant. It was almost midnight and Santa should be here any second. Yeah, any, any. <laughs> Crash! What was that? The cans on the roof? Freddy raced to the window just in time to see. Disaster! Something big rolled right off the roof. Freddy tore outside. What had he done? Oh dear, oh dear. Santa had duped him. <laughs> the sign says, nice try, Freddy. Freddy was angry? No, that's not it. Embarrassed? No, not that either. He was sobbing his heart out, pounding the snow, having the most broken tantrum of his short life. Well, actually, Freddy felt fantastic. While the other kids nestled all snug in their beds, Freddy had played a hide-and-seek with his hero. He had even had a note from Santa that he could add to his collection. So, what if Santa got away this year? It's fine. Maybe it's for the best. Maybe no one can outwit Santa Claus. No one, that is, except Freddy. Hey, there's always next year. The end.